And we continue now with our great American panel. All right, the, uh, our friends at The View. Uh, I, you know, I, I, first of all, I, I, I love Elizabeth Hasselbeck. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg is a friend. The show is great. I just love it. It's fun. This is what they're arguing today, whether B Barack Obama is black enough. Watch this. We keep trying to make President Obama into something that he is not. Yes, you right. did not vote for the man that had a gun on the side of his right. pocket. That's not what you voted for. You carry the gun. If he did come like that, you'd be too scared. That's, he's, he's exact, that's exactly right. That If he were ever a tough guy or an angry guy, he would have never. He's and the same person. You angry. know, he's, first he wasn't black enough. Now people want him to be black enough. Everybody was black enough. But a lot of the people who are saying he's not black enough or he's not angry enough now are who didn't vote for him. It's almost like they want him to get angry so, so he'll they shoot himself look, in the foot and yourself. then the next party will pick it up in the I next election. Angry All right, obviously, Joy is not a genius. I remember, you know, but didn't this question get answered in November? Yeah. You know, many times over, and every time that question comes up, because I hear it often, I get more and more offended, as if having presidential character and substance is tied to a skin color. It drives me nuts. Mm -hmm. The issue is not about whether this man is black enough or not. He's a black American, African American. He's an American. He's an first. American. Let's get rid of these half But there were people saying that an African American could not be elected president. Yep, that, no. And, 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 and I, I actually think this is a great thing for the country. It was. That, that the issue of race, to the right. extent that anybody on the fringes that are, are racist, Right. They've been marginalized, right. but it is not the core of this country right. by any stretch of the imagination in right. larger and larger percentages. And the issue has never been about color. The issue has been about the policies and the leadership or the lack thereof. Uh, I've never had anything personal against uh, President Obama. I haven't met him before. But the same way we're seeing the same things with these age-old incumbents, to include what's current with our administration, people are looking for things to pull and plug to t kind of make, make up for the fact that there's no leadership yeah. there. I'm infuriated with this notion that the problem with the president is not emoting enough. This is not Shakespeare. We're not the director trying to get more of a performance out of him. It's not a matter of uh, not emotional enough or not black enough. It's simply not competent enough. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I want a, a president who can actually solve a problem, not a mood ring. You know, it, it's great. It's interesting you said that because he got angry after getting direction from Spike Lee, the director, uh, <laughs> which I found pretty interesting. Yeah. He, you know, lies, he was so smart, cool, you know. that's why he's not emoting enough, yeah. that, which is uh -huh. what he's saying. But I think we've got a problem here. I think you've got the Iranian co hostage crisis and Katrina combined for this president right now and I think his presidency is hanging in the balance and I don't and that's why I think he's angry I think he's angry because instinctively he knows it yeah I hate agreeing with you but I think that uh, I do th I think you know I, I know a lot, I know a lot of Democrats free. who are concerned that this could be a one-term president and that he um, is reminiscent of, of Jimmy Carter in a lot of ways even though I actually love Jimmy Carter but he, as a human being he's a great humanitarian he's a great but I just, president he's a great he's humanitarian a he's, he's a great humanitarian but but I guess at the end of the day I, I have never been into this idea that Obama needs to come out and emote more and, and show more emotion and and also the idea that uh, he couldn't get angry because he's a black man. Well, what president could come out and just start screaming and yelling and acting crazy and everybody wouldn't have a problem right. with it? It's about I mean, presidential I character. Yeah, it's, it's not, not about not color and skin. Yeah. You have to carry yourself a certain way in leadership. What did you think of him? And, and I have been hammering on, on this, you know, I don't know who's blank to kick, who's butt to kick. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and, and you know, he, he seems to be going out there and he seems more and more unhinged. I don't know if I he, don't think he seems unhinged. Oh, I think he's unhinged. No, no, I think I what he's doing is he's I, looking for something and some kind of way to react to because again he's uncomfortable in the setting I have respect for the man as a person but in leadership he's uncomfortable being in, in the Marine Corps has afforded me the opportunity in combat when you're getting bullets tossed at your back and forth you don't react all health how many years we got in the Marine Corps still in 13 years I July the Pentagon okay. you don't just react helter skelter you gotta remain calm so you Marines can get home and finish the job this this gentleman right now he's he's as a leader he's not he's looking for a way yeah. to react to something that's why I slipped with that three-letter word he is uncomfortable I I think he's calm and I actually think the three letter word was premeditated and I think it was very, con con you know, it was just, it, it, was, it was taking uh, Spike Lee's yeah, advice? I, I don't think it was, it didn't, there's nothing about it that seemed natural or real, it's just, it's not, it's not who he is and I don't think it's frankly who we should expect him to be and I think well, you're well, right. Plug well, 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 the damn hole was the you other know? one. Yeah, well, yeah. watching yeah. the cool, calm guy who's always compared to Mr. Spock yeah. uh, suddenly try to come out and be really angry is the most coarse lines I've seen since, um, Hey, got run. By the way, good luck in your race. You have my support against Denny Hoyer. And we'll see over the weekend if you can suck the oil out with a straw. More Hannity on Monday. Tonight, it is official. 